that competition I want to ask you about, I think I've seen you mention it in a few other places about the influence of some of your teammates there, in particular, somebody like Un Chand, who came in after the start of the season, but then you got a chance to bat with him quite often throughout the summer. What kind of lessons did you take from him, whether from a technical standpoint, mental standpoint, or just from a life experience standpoint? Because he's somebody who has also had his fair share of slights that have taken him to where he is today. So what did you learn from him? I learned quite a lot, actually. Um, It started with kind of just a mentality of, again, playing freely, not taking any pressure. I did have a rough beginning of the minor league season. I wasn't scoring a lot of runs. And then once he came in, once I started batting with him, our chats in the middle of, you know, back yourself, you got this. I mean, again, I think I said it on Nate's show, but a player of that stature being confident in your ability gives you confidence of yourself. I mean, someone who's played for India under 19 is telling you that you're capable of doing something. You're going to believe him. And it started there. It started with his belief. And then we'd have chats about, you know, things I can improve on. He was just really supportive. And I think that having that support throughout the season, him, Saurabh, Narsingh, Shehan, just guys like that who do support you, it, it, it does mean a lot. Those are pr- some pretty big names for anybody to be able to get to bat with and kind of soak up technical skills or temperamental approaches to cricket at any age. Anybody who would get a chance to be around those guys would be pretty lucky. But as a 17-year-old, getting a chance to be in a squad that that's deep and not just be in the squad, but be a regular player in the 11, alongside the likes of, like you just said, Saurabh Mechavalkar, Narasingh Dianarain, Unmukchan, Shehan Jayasuriya, so many experienced international players in that group. What are some of the other things you've gotten to learn that you think have helped speed up your cricket development that you would not have been able to get a chance to experience if you were in a different kind of setup? So I think there are two things that stand out to me. One is the professionalism. Um, obviously, I've never played cricket for money or as a professional, like, or from a professional standpoint. And these people coming from only playing professional cricket, it taught me a lot of the standards I need to set for myself, both fitness-wise and cricket-wise. And again, that's something I'm taking into aspect right now just kind of figuring out what I need to do to play at that professional level and then the second part is having fun I mean it is a game after all and these guys did remind me of it and they just brought a kind of chill relaxed fun aspect to the game that I didn't have before 